Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 20th. Welcome back to school. Yes, today, Comstock Remote Learning Plan starts. Woohoo! So, I know, I'm a little excited. Sorry, I'm just, I'm so looking forward to getting back and sort of seeing your faces when we do Google Meets. It's just gonna be exciting. All right. So a couple of things. First of all, it is, I'm not even going to get at, well, let's see, can I get my sun out? It is sunny today. It is going to be sunny. It's going to be nice. Tomorrow's going to be cold. I'm not going to talk about tomorrow because I'm going to get whiny about it. So today is going to be sunny. Your classes, your packets, everything sort of starts now. All right. And that's going to mean different things for different students. For those of you that are going to be doing paper, pencil, packets, those are getting put in the mail today. You should have them Tuesday or Wednesday. So be prepared for those. In the packets, you will have work from all of your classes. Okay, so it'll be social studies, math, science, ELA, and exploratory classes. There will be things for you to do. And you'll just work on those. For those of you doing online classes, teachers are starting to assign. I assigned on the TCI website Chapter 32, which is sort of the geography and beginnings of ancient Rome. All right, and I will be putting that in an email, and that will be on Google Classroom, and you will need to log into the TCI textbook. You will then be able to see the assignment that I've set up for you. Okay. And, and so Google Classroom is going to be a good place to sort of stay. All right. Also, what we'll be starting this week is teacher communication with you. If this was three, oh, over here, you, 3D, it would, my little finger would come out like and go touch you right in the forehead, you. Um, anyway, so teachers will be scheduling Google Classroom meetings. Mine are today, I hope, I hope it works. Um, I have created four different meetings. I will be meeting with first hour from 1 o'clock to 1.30. I will be meeting with second hour at 1.45 to 2.15. Yes, you need to look at the time on the clock. Okay, sorry. Sixth hour will be at 2.30 to 3 o'clock. And seventh hour will be... 315 to 345 and I realize I've only scheduled a half hour this is sort of a getting to know you kind of thing um, I've never done one of these we'll talk about sort of my expectations for how we're going to run the meetings and we're going to have a chance to just chat touch base see how everybody's doing we're I'm probably not going to talk a lot about ancient Rome today we'll talk a little bit but anyway I will be doing it today. Now, all of the teachers have sort of divided our time up. We're not all going to talk to you this week. Um, they've set up a schedule where sort of every other week you'll meet with different teachers. So this week you will meet with social studies, ELA, and then a couple of exploratories. Next week, it will be math and science and a couple of exploratories. So we have a schedule when it gets finalized. Um, I'll talk to Mr. Wilkie to see if I can send it out to you guys so you can sort of see when the meetings are. Now, what happens at the meetings is I sort of keep track of who all is attended, who have I seen, seen face to face. Um, and then everybody else that doesn't attend the meeting, I will be making phone calls home. Not because you're in trouble, but because it, by law, I have to check in with you. So that's why I'm doing my meetings on Mondays because that'll give me Tuesday through Friday to make contact with people that weren't able to get into the meeting. And my goal is to, first of all, get everybody that's got a, a cell phone, get you into the meetings. That's the big goal because even with just a cell phone and limited connectivity, you can attend our meetings. You may still be doing a paper pencil packet. Ooh, paper pencil packet, paper packet. Paper, pencil, packet, paper, pencil, packet, paper, pencil, packet. Hmm. Anyway, um, you'll be doing those because you don't have enough data or whatever for doing that online, but you can still meet with us and, and chat with your friends. That's sort of the goal. And so I will let you know the schedule. In 
the emails that I have tried to send out a lot of emails. I've sent out calendar alerts to you guys. I've given you a link for Google Hangouts. Check and make sure you can find Google Hangouts on whatever it is you are using, the meeting app. It's, there's been some issues with not so much devices like phones and, and tablets, but with computers, you may need to use Google Chrome. And so you might need to download that browser in order to get onto the Hangouts. And then that's something we're just going to figure out. But you should only need to click on the link to join the meeting. Uh, I will be giving you um, some different ideas about, oops, where am I going here, uh, how to do a meeting. This is going to be sort of new for us. When I let you into the meeting, and I'm sorry, I'm doing two things because I, like, as always, had sort of a, a nifty idea. Um, I want to show you this, okay? So what to expect at a virtual meeting. Um, first of all, uh, let your family know that you'll be joining a meeting before it begins. Do not share the link with anyone. This meeting is for class periods. Depending on how many students show up, I'll, I'll make a bigger meeting where more people can sit and chat. Uh, consider your surroundings in the background that everybody is going to see. Uh, when you join the meeting, be there on time. Turn off your microphone when you enter. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of chances to talk, but that helps with weird sound. Uh, and ask questions or make comments using the chat feature. I will have the ability, I think, to mute everybody, and I don't want to do that, so just turn off your microphone and we'll, we'll figure it out. During the meeting, use appropriate language. Be kind and courteous. Be polite, wait your turn, and respect others' privacy. So there's a variety of things that we need to take care of. And then after the meeting, you'll be exiting. All right. And what happens then is that I reset the link. Now, my goal is eventually, once we get our schedule down, is I'll just have a link on Google Classrooms. And you'll just click the link when it's time to go. I've done it a variety of ways this time. Um, so hopefully everybody will get in. Um, check your Google Classrooms for the link. So, all right. Well, I could take you outside. It's beautiful and sunny. Um, we can go see if there's any animals. Uh, in terms of virtual uh, field trips. I think today our virtual field trip is going to be like the Google Classroom meeting. I think that's about as virtually exciting as I want to get today. Unless I find something scrolling through. Every now and then I find things when I scroll through and I go, ooh, I think you'll like that. Ooh, very bright today. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, all we really have out here today is, oh, Mr. Squirrel's running away. Lots of squirrels. Oh, my goodness. It's very, very sunny. Um, so the other thing I would say, if you're not in a meeting today, get outside, do some yard work. I'm sorry, you can't even see me. Oh, ow, my eyes. I would say, oh, where, why do we have so much sun? But there we go. So I wish you all the best. I will see many of you on Google Meets today. I'm looking forward to it. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>